Hi, Alan here. Our history, your story. Now, we all know of Edinburgh Castle. It's the castle that sits in the centre city on the rock. But did you know that Edinburgh actually has other castles? Now, join me today as I'll be your guide to Edinburgh's hidden castles. Craig Miller Castle, often referred to as Edinburgh's other castle. Now, it was built by the feudal barons of the area, the Preston family, uh, and it was built in the 14th century. It has an extensive history, but mostly associated with Mary, Queen of Scots, who initially started out as a guest of the Preston family, but later became their prisoner. Now, you can tell that it was a splendid castle and uh, with ornate gardens and palatial surroundings. Liberton Tower, built by the Dalmahoy family in the 1450s. It's a good example of a nobleman's household during that time. Now, later on in its life, in the 1650s, during the Third English Civil War, it speculated that the tower itself got caught up in some of the fighting as Cromwell's men invaded Edinburgh. Now, the reason for this is cannonballs have been found on the site, there was broken pottery and there's charcoal markings in and around the site. Now, the site itself has gone through an extensive renovation and is now available available for property let. And why wouldn't you want to stay here? It's a fantastic historic location and uh, check out the view. Not bad, eh? There's been a castle here at Lauriston since medieval times, but the castle that you see behind me was built in 1590 and was constructed by Archibald Napier of Merchiston. Uh, the castle remained in the family until the 1800s, and Walter Scott, who paid it a visit, said that the additions to the tower house uh, were in very good taste and it would make a very comfortable country home. of the Napier family at it again, a castle hidden in plain sight. The castle was constructed in 1454. It's now incorporated into the grounds of the university. Um, it was formerly the ancestral home of the Napier family, hence where the university gets its name. Well, more specifically, the university gets its name from John Napier, inventor of algorithms. Not much remains of this 15th century tower house located in the grounds of Napier University. You might even walk past it without realising what it was. But it was once a four-storey castle that was constructed by the Lockhart family. Although some people speculate that it was constructed by an earlier noble family in the 12th century. So the last one I've included is more of a bonus material. Now it's not a castle itself, but whenever I mention it to anyone, they'll say, what is it? Where is it? I've never heard of that. And then whenever I see them next time, they always say to me, oh my God, I've, uh, I've passed that for years and never even noticed it. So this is it here. It's called the Stenhouse Mansion. Now it was built by the Stenhope family. Now the Stenhope family uh, were leasing the land from Holyrood Abbey. They started leasing the land in 1511. Now they built an earlier structure um, that was passed hands and was eventually bought by uh, Edinburgh merchant Patrick Ellis. And you can actually see his coat of arms just there within the mansion. So he done an extensive renovation um, in the early 1600s and uh, this is how you see the mansion today. So always remember, keep an eye out because you'll never know what you might find. Now, this has been Our History, Your Story. I've been Alan, and this has been Edinburgh's Hidden Castles. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, or you can join us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. See you next time.